the meningitis is a life-threatening illness. This is a disease that kills probably 10 to 15 percent of the people who contract it. It was unlike any illness I've had in the past. Meningitis was on a whole other level in terms of um, the intensity of it and just how fast it, it hit me. Dr. Neglia, could you tell us what you do at Princeton University? Sandra, I am the Associate Director of Medical Services at the University Health Service. Meningitis is an inflammation of the covering membranes of the brain and the spinal cord. Those membranes are called the meninges, and when they become inflamed, it's called meningitis. And in the case of some of our students, it is causing a blood infection called meningococcemia, where the same bacteria invades the bloodstream. My name's Adam Millar, and I'm in the class of 2015. Michael Morin, I'm a sophomore. Peter Kruth, 2014. Lily Teldron, I'm a senior. How did meningitis compare to other illnesses you've had in the past? It's definitely the most serious illness that I've ever had. It's the worst by far. I've had the flu, I've had strep, and I've had mono, and it was way worse. Could you walk us through the time frame from when you were feeling okay until you were ultimately diagnosed? I was um, in the city um, in Thessaloniki in Greece at dinner time having dinner with all my friends when the headache hit. I had a fever, chills, I felt awful. Um, I took my temperature and I had a fever of 103 degrees. Finally I decided it wasn't getting any better and my roommate brought me to Mikosh. One night I went to take a shower and I came out and I had to tear this rash. And immediately when the nurses there saw it, they called the emergency room. Because of the other cases of meningitis, they were pretty certain at that point that it's what I had. What was the worst part of having meningitis? It was just a huge struggle, feeling pretty helpless because I couldn't think properly. I couldn't really move. Um, I just had a terrible headache all the time. Probably the worst part is that everyone has to come in. If they want to see me, nurses, my family members, they have to put on like this suit because I'm still contagious. So. Everyone that I see just looks like a, you know, kind of a faceless person. It's difficult to remember who was there. Is the vaccine safe? What are the side effects? It is considered to be safe. Uh, you can imagine that we have done our due diligence to investigating the safety of this vaccine. Side effects are minimal. Generally, um, some soreness at the site of the injection. But this is not a live vaccine. So it is, it is fairly safe and without uh, a lot of side effects. What do you most want other students to know about meningitis? I'd most want them to know that pretty much anyone can get it. Anyone can get it. Definitely that anybody could get it. Um, I consider myself to be pretty clean, hygienic. Um, I don't usually share drinks. I don't play beer pong. And I got it, so really anyone can. Uh, I most want other students to know that even if the risk of getting it is small, that it's worth that extra little effort when, when you go out to not share cups or smoking materials or utensils. It's not a disease where you can trace exactly where it comes from. So it's not like if you haven't been around someone who's been sick, then you're safe. The meningitis vaccine that is required by law is a vaccine that covers several different types, type A, type C, type Y, type W. It does not include type B. That is why we have been working with the CDC, the New Jersey Department of Health, and now the FDA to try to bring this vaccine to Princeton University. And what would you tell your friends about the vaccine? I would definitely tell them to get it. Well, I definitely urge them to get it. I wouldn't want anyone I know, or really anyone at all, to get this disease. I would say that it's a no-brainer to get the vaccine, that if it can save lives and, and prevent transmission and help Princeton, that everyone should get it. If you have a fever or a headache or a rash, go to Makash and remember, get, get the, the vaccine. vaccine.